We're back on a Wellness Wednesday. As we get ready to celebrate Thanksgiving, we're going to take a moment to center ourselves in gratitude. This morning, we're going to learn how to go a little bit deeper when asked, what are you thankful for? Mm. So here with us is psychotherapist and author Nero Feliciano. Nero, good to see you. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Thank you. So, so here's the, what's the difference between thankful and grateful? So you think they're the same, and some people use them interchangeably, but there's a slight distinction. Thankfulness usually is a response to a person or event. So like I said, I'm thankful to you for having me here today because I got mm-hmm. to pass off hosting to my sister. <laughs> going to get me back. And gratitude is a little bit different. It's a lens at which we look through our life and our ability to find good things that are already there. And really, it is the pathway to joy. I love the quote, it is not joyful people who are grateful. It's grateful people who are joyful. Ooh. It doesn't have to be a feeling to mm-hmm. experience joy when you step into that practice. Mm. What are some of the benefits? That, that make gratitude so transformational? Yeah, it really is transformational, both mentally and physically. So we have research out of Berkeley at the Greater Good Science Center. They've done a lot of work on this. That shows it improves our mental health. Gratitude releases dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine when you express it to other people and mm-hmm. serotonin when you write it, like a, a gratitude journal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what that does, it improves our mood, increases motivation, increases productivity. We have research to show lower signs of anxiety and depression and better sleep if you do it right mm-hmm. before you go to bed. Um, and then what I didn't realize, it's physically transformational too because gratitude lowers our stress and stress and our immune response are enemies. So people who've practiced gratitude have better immunity, lower rates of illness, lower rates of inflammation even after wow. heart failure. Yeah. yeah. Wow, let's challenge ourselves. You know, I remember, you know, since you're little, what are you thankful for on Thanksgiving? But what are, what's a deeper way to handle that question? Okay, Chanel, so I tried that with my kids and they were like, oh, mom's a therapist. Is <laughs> so I had to flip it. So now I ask them, what are three good things in your day? Oh. They bought into this. And what that does is it forces you to be present and think of something new. And that's what the dopamine release is about. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you want to avoid saying the same thing. So my son, who's 15, is always like food. So now <laughs> he knows what kind of food. What did you eat today? Mm-hmm. What did you like? How did it taste? Because that present focus is important. Um, some of the other things you can do, a gratitude jar. Mm-hmm. Put a place card out for everybody at Thanksgiving. Well, that's a good idea. Write down what you're grateful for. Have someone read them out because some people don't like to be on the spot. Yeah. You can even do that through the whole season when it's full celebration. I have one have in my dinner. dressing room, and people, when they come in, they'll just put it in there. I haven't read anybody's. Oh, yeah. But you also have it right next to the swear jar. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. Sure. Here's kidding. the thing. Which I, is I just, more full. Really yeah. quickly, this is a time of year where we're all trying to think about you know, what we're grateful for, what we're thankful for. But there are a lot of people struggling right mm-hmm. now, and they don't feel like there's a lot to be thankful for, yes. grateful for. Mm-hmm. What do you say to them? So we don't want to have a performative gratitude, Mm. right? We want to recognize what's going on because there's a saying, that which you resist persists, Mm. right? So we want to get that out and maybe talk to someone who is empathetic about it. And even in that conversation, you may then find your reason for gratitude, Mm. just having that friend. This second one, the part that you have under there, it keeps me going. It said, be someone else's reason. Yeah. Yes. That to me is, it almost takes yourself, you take yourself out of your own body and you think about somebody Being else. Selfless, forces you to be empathetic. It really, it really does. If you can't find your reason, be someone else's yeah. reason why they yeah. write in their journal. Mm. Because when we can step out of our own pain and look at the ways we have the ability to meet people's needs around us, yeah. not only we find gratitude, we find joy and then more gratitude because gratitude and it's a work in giving. progress. Yeah. Thank That's you. right. Thank you so much. Thank you, as always. And for more, uh, practicing gratitude check out Nero's latest edition of her column is this normal at today.com hey thanks for watching don't miss the today show every weekday at 11 a.m eastern 8 pacific on our streaming channel today all day to watch head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here